Hello, pet villagers. This is Scott, the administrator at Seven Hills Animal Hospital, part of the Pet Village of Seven Hills. All right, now stop me if you've heard this. My cat's 17 years old. That's 120 in human years. I don't know why you didn't stop me, but I know you've either heard these words before or uttered something similar yourself at some point in time. I probably have. The old seven to one ratio of pet years to human years is persistent and it's been around a long time. As long as I can remember, I'm sure a lot longer than that. But let's think about it for a second. Is a 17 year old cat really a comparable age to a 120 year old person? Come on folks, really? Seriously, come on, really? It really comes down to simple percentages. I mean, how many 120 year old humans do you know? I may end up looking like an idiot for saying this, but I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say zero. I'm pretty confident about this because the oldest known man on record whose age has been verified is actually 115 years old. And yes, I did say is because he is still alive and going strong in Japan. And the oldest known woman was 122 when she passed away in 1997. So of the 7 billion people on this great planet, not a single man has been confirmed to reach the age of 120 and only one woman has. That being said, there may be people in history who have lived this long or longer, but suffice it to say, it's an extraordinarily rare thing to see. Well, how do the pet numbers stack up? I didn't even need to do any research online to know that a 17-year-old cat is not that uncommon. We've seen over 30 of them here in our clinic alone in the past year. We've seen 18 pets in the past year that were 20 years or older. So that seven to one ratio just doesn't jive. So how old is your pet in human years then? People have come up with all kinds of computations to compare a pet's age to a human's age, but really there's just too many variables to nail down an accurate representation. Are they a dog or a cat? Indoor or outdoor? Male or female? Purebred or mixed breed? If a purebred, what breed? The most significant factor is gonna be a pet's size. As you know, cats and small dogs tend to live longer. And as your dog's size goes up, its life expectancy goes down. It's this inverse relationship that throws a big wrench into nearly all the ratios and calculations. I looked in over a dozen places and a one-year-old dog could be either seven or eight or 21 in human years, depending on where you look. There's obviously no perfect system for this, so let's just take an average medium-sized dog, Fido we'll call her, and ballpark her age. It makes the most sense to me to match up milestones in Fido's life with milestones in a human's life to better estimate her age. Fido will reach puberty around six months of age. Humans don't reach puberty till they're around 12. And at a year old, Fido is obviously still a puppy, and we can call that around 15 in human terms. By the age of two, Fido's an adult and is probably comparable to a human in the early to mid 20s range. We'll say 24 since a lot of sites seem to like that number. The first two years of Fido's life covers a lot of ground in human years, and then it slows down considerably after that. Now the average lifespan for a dog Fido's size is gonna be on a roughly 11 to 13 years, and the average lifespan for a human in the U.S. is roughly 75 to 80 years. So if we say a two-year-old Fido is around 24 in human years and a 13-year-old Fido is around 80 in human years, we can do a little math to figure out the rest. So what that means is starting at the age of 24, we'll add about five years for each year that passes to figure out Fido's age. For a bigger dog, you'll add more years and for a smaller dog or a cat, you'll add less years. So for a huge dog like a Great Dane whose average lifespan is six to eight years old, I'll add nine years every Every year. Or for an indoor cat or a small dog whose average lifespan is 13 to 17 years, I'll be adding four years every year. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. And if you want to keep learning more about pets, vets, and what we think your pet would say if she could talk, please subscribe or check us out on Facebook.